Last week, we traveled to Florence. We got to witness a lot of different things, one of them being the marathon we didn't know was happening. But a bunch of beautiful sights, this little hole in the wall that turned out to be a great restaurant, and then we hopped on a tour, went to Pisa, got to see an Ikea, got to see St. Gimignano, which was amazing, wine tasting, and then we ended up in Siena. It was an amazing trip, and we couldn't wait to start our next one. Leaving Florence behind, we were off to Rome. Train ride was nice, and it was fast. Yep, that's 248 kilometers per hour. Now, you could do the math and carry the 5 and take and divide by 4, the tangent and the cotangent and all this. Yep, yeah, but you know what? That's way too much. I just Google it. It's 154.1 miles per hour. The scenery was awesome along the way, and we sure are glad that we did take the train and didn't take a car because it would have taken us about a month to get there because we would have stopped at all of these places and just spent days. And we probably would have taken one of these little cars because we love these little things. Either this one or maybe this one. I don't know. This one's just my size. I think I could probably fit in this. Honestly, I have no idea how people fit in some of these cars. And I still crack up thinking about how this is considered a really large RV. And here the crazy cat man's probably thinking about his Venetian pr crazy cat princess. We loved these street signs. They were actually, we didn't even notice them for the, like the whole first day we were there. And then I started noticing all of the do not enter signs have some type of graffiti on it that make it a little artistic. And they were kind of just scattered all around the city. I mean... Some may be normal, some may be, and it was almost like it was a game to see what's the cra next craziest sign we're going to see. All that walking around sure does make you hungry. There was a lot of really good places to eat around here, and we found this one little sandwich shop. It was perfect. It was all vegan food. They made it all there. They had vegan deli meats, deli cheeses. I mean, it was awesome, and it tasted great on top of that. Hey, does anybody know where the Coliseum is? It's that way. My price, ladies. My price. Honestly, to say the Coliseum is impressive is an understatement. It is truly massive and impressive. One of the things that never surprised us is just how impressive the entire city is. They say that the Altar of the Fatherland is actually the biggest monument in all of Italy. And when you walk past this thing, it's unmistakably why they say it's the largest monument. This thing is massive and very impressive. The workmanship that went into this is really a tribute. Every church we went to see was very beautiful in its own way. And they were all unique to each different saint. Who doesn't know the Pantheon? However, what I didn't know is, it. I always just saw pictures of the front. Since I've never been here, I didn't actually know just how massive this building was. When you stood next to the doors of the entrance of the Pantheon, it is just completely breathtaking. This Just the sheer size. Now, a lot of other things I didn't know about the Pantheon is it was built back in about 25 B.C. And then was rebuilt and burned down and destroyed and rebuilt again and taken over by Constantine and then by the Papal State. And then this thing has been back and forth and its history is rich throughout the walls and the monuments and the artwork within. It's actually very impressive. And if you ever do go to Rome, definitely take some time.
Is that the sign of your gods? Well, that not being with him. SBQR. We've all seen it. But does anybody really know what it means? I didn't know what it really meant. Basically, loosely translated, it's the Senate and the people of Rome. Now, what that means is basically that everything that belongs to the Roman Empire and belongs to the people is marked with SPQR. See, and I had never noticed this in the movie The Gladiator, the clip you just watched. He was actually scratching it off because he was no longer claiming to be property of the Empire of Rome. And in the true Patrick and Maddie fashion, we end up walking around till late in the evening, taking pictures, visiting places, and seeing things that are truly amazing. Like Castel Sant'Angelo. The history behind this place was very rich. And the Archangel Michael was up here on top, sheathing his sword, signifying the end of the plague. There was a lot of history and it was truly educational. I need to use the forest to cross the street. Light screen now. Let's go. The next day we visited Vatican City. And wow. I mean, you can't even describe the feeling you get from here. Some things you actually just really honestly have to experience in person to appreciate it. And this just happened to be one of those places. Now, we did have our run-in with customs. And yeah, we were detained for a little bit. Because we didn't know that they have their they are considered their own state. And they have their own police force, military, and their own customs. So we had to make sure that we had all our documents and passports ready before we could even enter the city. Now once we were in, wow. And you know what, this is just one of those cases where it's better if I just be quiet and let you see everything. We took so many pictures that we could not put them all here. It would be a four-hour video. So we put them all on Facebook and Instagram. So if you don't already, go ahead and follow us on Facebook and Instagram. And also subscribe and click that little bell for notifications so that you get notified when we post new videos. So they say, when in Rome, do like Romans do. So, arrivederci. Thank you for everything. All the experiences, the food, the people all the labs, and all the great sites. Now, on to more adventures, where we will go next. Ciao. Next week, stay tuned. We're going to continue some boat shopping. We find, actually, quite a few interesting little candidates. And we take spend some time looking at them. And then we tell you how we really feel about things. <laughs> um. Stay tuned while next week we face some really rough decisions. That'll be easy.
can paint this on the side. What do you want me to paint on the side? Oh yeah, easy. I can do that. I mean, we may have to flip it upside down so that we can actually see it, but you know. That'd be easy, I could probably knock that out in an afternoon. Yeah.